following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault -Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Today we will focus on strength. In the wasteland, essential supplies will be scarce. When an item of value is found, keep it close and away from bullies. The stronger you are, the more you can carry. Be sure to know your limits, or you may find it challenging to escape from hazardous scenarios, no matter how strong you are. There are other situations where you may find yourself in close proximity to unfriendly neighbors. For such cases, you must learn to defend yourself using your natural strength. Use anything sharp or sturdy enough to swing. Get creative with your implement, but stay reasonable and look for anything that can further enhance your innate vigor. The greater your strength, the greater the impact. But remember, some moments require more than muscle. In this chapter, we focus on perception. It is the unfortunate truth that when you go above ground, you will be faced with many post-nuclear nuisances. These frightening menaces will come in all different shapes and sizes and pose an immediate threat to your survival. You must learn to deal with these dangers, but may find this challenging at first. That's why we've provided you with the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, so you can scan the threat and pinpoint areas of weakness. And the higher your perception, the more accurate you will be. Why, you'll put Davy Crockett to shame. There may be times when you must engage in questionable activities. <coughs> your perception can help keep you safe during these morally ambiguous moments. Practice your pilfering on youths the elderly, or the incapacitated. As you continue to purloin your way to success, try more challenging targets and more skillful techniques for greater returns. Don't get too cocky there, sport. Our topic today is endurance. We will all be faced with many new and unfamiliar health risks, such as infection, sudden loss of limb, and above all, harmful radiation. Fortunately, your formidable endurance has turned your body into a hard-working machine that can resist the harmful effects of radiation and physical violence. Like any machine, then, your body must be well-maintained to stay in tip-top shape. While average Joes will survive on old packaged standbys, your iron-clad insides will allow you to seek fresh meat. Radiation poisoning may have enlarged your favorite meals. This means more healthful nutrition for you. Take caution not to bite off more than you can chew. Endurance can also provide new options for food, some of which can be an acquired taste. Gone are the days of exercising for fun. Instead, you will need to combine athletics with crucial survival activities. The greater your endurance, the further you can go. Just be certain to be mindful of others. Charisma. What is it made of? Unlike the clean, wholesome America you may recall, the wasteland will be a distrustful place, full of unsavory characters and few morals. Earning 
the trust of your fellow man is an often overlooked key to survival. One way to prove your trustworthiness is through fair commercial exchange. Your renowned charisma will enable more favorable bartering. Don't get greedy now. Use your charismatic nature to negotiate your way out of tense moments. Having friends is always of value. How else do I find friends, you may wonder. You may find an impromptu cocktail hour helps to ease social stress. Your charisma will help you avoid the perils of addiction, but not the immediate effects of drink. So practice moderation, or you'll find out who your real friends are the hard way. You will find that even wild animals can be charmed by your charisma. Looks like you've found a new pal. Oh, don't get carried away there, big fella. Our next area of attention is intelligence. With all the talk of physical survival in the wasteland, you may forget that sometimes it's survival of the smartest. An empty mind is a vessel for knowledge, and intelligence is the key to unlocking opportunity and adapting to your new world above ground. Your advanced know-how will grant you access to new places and new technologies. Space age, isn't it? Intelligent survivors are also more inventive, creating technological wonders of their own. Note that the S in science stands for safety. And when the tables are turned against you, don't be afraid to set aside your refined intelligence for the raw instincts of survival. Just don't lose your head. Now, let's discuss the uses of agility. A nuclear blast and the subsequent fallout will have many adverse effects on life as we know it. Intensive prolonged radiation exposure may transform those above ground into decrepit, rotting beings that have lost their ability to reason. They will likely be without common manners and quick to anger. You must learn to make the most of available firearms, but enthusiasm will only take you so far. Now let's try that again. And remember that with your impressive agility, you can act more decisively in vats. See? It's a snap. Agility can also help you out in difficult moments. But why place yourself under undue stress? Instead, try a subtler route. Taking the quieter approach is always worth consideration. Your agility can turn a sneak attack into a complete tactical move. Keep in mind, others may have the same bright idea. your rabbit's foot? Good. It's time we talk about luck. The difference between whether you live or die in the post-nuclear world may depend on the flip of a coin. Luck is a mysterious sort of curiosity. See here? A well-placed shot may not always do the trick. If Lady Luck favors you, though, 
you'll find those critical moments a breeze. What's this? Only scrounging up duds? Time and patience may net you a suitable collection, but with luck on your side, you're bound to find some swell keepers. No, no, hold on to anything shiny. It may be of hidden value. Be careful not to get distracted by your newfound fortunes. Uh-oh, that wasn't the only pest. It looks like luck has helped you once again. Unfortunately, she can't save you from every situation. At least your misfortune can become someone else's fortune. Keep doing your chin-ups and push-ups because there's more strength can do for you. Always look to sharpen your five senses, for perception doesn't stop there. Build your endurance, and soon you will find ways that it improves your life above ground. So you see, taking the charismatic approach is more than just good manners. Advanced learning in the field of intelligence can offer even more benefits in this modern age of wonder. Your agility will help you move through the wasteland with ease and yield other benefits. Luck may be fickle, but if you can woo her to your side, the possibilities are endless. Swing for the fences like the pros, crafting specialized protective gear to keep, or building clever weapons to wield it, keenly assessing the unfriendly locals and terrain, of handling sensitive munitions with will in building a long distance relationship, of added confidence in the swimming pool can stronger more resilient limbs to the flesh of your fellow man can provide working with man's best friend into more loyal companions will convincing others to act on your behalf and to start navigating with technological ease keep blood where it belongs by healing in creating more potent chemical compounds from assaulting an unsuspecting dreamer for the in hastily reloading your firearms by piling on damage to additional targets when the a particularly bloody mess with little a chance to build a streak of destruction that cut the magic of the unexpected all regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival and to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? So instead of leveling up just these random perks that you could get with each one of your special stats, you can actually keep leveling up your special stats. So there are two different ways you can do this. One, you can find the pit boys or whatever on the map that will level up the individual stats. Uh, I already found one I think was Perception. And then another way is you can click on these and level them up yourself. So I am going to go ahead and go with Endurance because I actually like to be able to run a little more. So go ahead and hit that next rank button or alt. Go ahead and confirm that selection and then you can level that up. So this has just been a short guide on how to level up your special stats. If you guys were unaware of it, I thought I would just bring it to your attention. All right, guys, this is Apex. Come back and see me. Peace. Hey, guys, this is Apex. Just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Um, and you should subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, um, I'll just stare at you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, and you should also check out one of these videos below.